Want to know why you're not achieving work that you love? Stay tuned because we're gonna dive into this now. My name is Janice Sullivan and I am the creator of the Creative Mentorship Program where we help macro landscape and nature photographers make world-class images that they are proud to share with the world. My work has been on a variety of magazines, articles, hospitality industry, licensing my images, and also in the streaming sector. Number one, being a perfectionist. I'm gonna get real here. I understand about wanting to create work and make it so perfect that you're excited to share with the world. Here's the problem. When you're a perfectionist, you never move forward because you're too embarrassed to show your work. You want everything perfect before it goes out. And it doesn't help you at all when you are competing to yourself. That's what you're doing. You're competing against yourself. So what happens? You consume more than you produce. It's so true. You consume tutorials. You consume workshops. You consume books more than making work on your own. And it's because you want it perfect. When it should be the flip side, making more work, because what happens is you grow. If you're going to play a sport, you need to learn how to play that sport. Well, it's the same for photography. If you want to create photographic work that you love, then you need to learn to create. And by learning is by doing. So you build a structure within your brain, your hands, to work with your eyes, to work with your senses, and to work with the equipment to make the work that you love. Okay, here's the next reason. You are comparing yourself to others. It happens all the time. It is so easy to be in this trap. And it really is a trap because if you're comparing yourself to the photographers that you love, then you will always feel horrible about your work and you will not move forward. First of all, you never make anything with a focus. And what does that mean? That means that you're not focusing on your own passion because you're focusing on the other photographer's passion because you like their work, which is fine. You love their work, it's great. Be inspired by them, but when it starts taking you back and you're like, oh, my work isn't good enough, then it's time to stop and really just photograph what you love and then move forward on with that where, yes, it's about you and not caring about anything else. So my remedy to this is to stop social media for one week and having the thick skin to say, this is about what I love and I'm going to do my best to make the work that I love. All right, this is the truth. You ready for the next one? You don't take time because you say, I don't have the time. Well, guess what? We all have the same time. We have 24 hours out of our life within one day. I, I know what you're saying. Oh, the other photographers are full time and they can do this. Well, I want you to know something about me. Before I became the full time professional, I got up in the morning and I worked on my photography. I went to work full time. I raised children. I was a wife and I came home and I worked on my photography. You can find the time when you use a calendar. Yes, I'm telling you, you've got to use a calendar. Okay, so with that said, how do you do it? Let me just tell you real quick. It's really, really easy. When I put in my calendar, that on Saturday at 11 a.m. I'm going to photograph some dandelions for two hours with water drops. I'm going to do that. You cannot be vague about what you're going to say and do 
when it comes to scheduling in time. You can't just say, I'm just gonna photograph on Saturday. No, 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 no. It will not work and you will fail. And you know what I do next? When I'm going through my month, I'm like, okay, what else is happening in my life? Well, you know what? I think on Wednesday night I'm free. So what's, what is Janice gonna do? I'm going to schedule in to post-process those images. And you can do this. Set the time to post-process and set the time to make the work. The next reason why you're not moving forward and it's straight to the fact you are trying to do this on your own. I went to college for art with an emphasis in photography so I could get help. With that said, if you don't want to go to college, you need to find a mentor. Yes, that's what I do, but I'm not saying you have to use me. You got to find somebody because what happens is the mentor will look at your work and be able to find what you're good at. First of all, they're going to know what you enjoy, what kind of photographs you want to take, but then they can take you to the next level because they will see your strong points and they will see your weaknesses. This way, the weaknesses crumble up and you can throw it in the trash. And the only way you're gonna do that is working with a professional or somebody that really knows how to teach. But when you want that really good, straight to the point, this is what you're doing really well, this is what it needs some work on, let's move you forward here, a mentor is the ticket. You can do it by yourself, it's just gonna take a lot longer to get to where you want to be. Let me know down below what is stopping you from sharing your work with others. Okay, so for my last tip on why you're not making work that you totally love is because many photographers, probably you, think that it's all about the equipment. And you probably have heard, it's not about the equipment, but you're like, but you have a good lens and you have a good camera. That is so true because when it comes to your equipment, it is important. You need equipment for your style of photographing. But that's it. That's why when you see my Essential Macro Toolkit, those are pieces that if you grab some of those tools, you will be able to make beautiful macro photography. You do not need tons of stuff because what happens is once you have your tool, your camera, your lens, maybe you want to focus stack, tripod, once you have just those, you don't need anything else. Just relax, don't buy the next goodie because you want to hone in on your photographic craft with the tools that you have because the truth is composition, exposure is like the main thing to learn. Then it's post-processing and creating work that only you want to create is next. Equipment is fun. I have tons of equipment, but I just want you to know that will not make or break how you love your photography. Now that you know what to do to step out of your comfort zone, let's make it easy for you macro photographers by downloading my ultimate and yes, essential macro photography toolkit to get your hands on my top macro photography creation resources to make your next image spectacular so you can create work faster without the guesswork. The link is down below. Let's push you out even farther. Would you like to be part of our private Facebook group? This is for adventurous macro photographers. I jump on live every Tuesday to answer your questions on macro photographing, lighting, post-processing equipment, and selling your work. The link is also down below. So let's get you motivated to photograph. Click down below to check out the playlist on a variety of macro photographing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. And always remember that your thousand words does make a difference. Cheers.